Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Civilization VI. We're continuing where we left off uh, after just literally just capturing Uruk from the Sumerians. And we also just got industrialization, which means we can build factories now. It's about bloody time. We've also... We also got the coal resource, which we should have already unmasked, I would imagine, by now. Or maybe not. No. No, in fact, no. A good navy is not a provocation to war. It is the surest guarantee of peace. All right. And we went for... Uh, we went for naval tradition to uh, go ahead and flip things around here for a turn. So for that, we're just going to, for one turn or two, we're going to drop a policy and we're going to pick up not logistics although that is a useful policy I think we might actually play around with fascism and take some of these late game military policies but yeah we're going for a professional army and the reason we're doing that wow triangular trade just not having that just decimated my income so anyway we can upgrade this guy for half the price that's pretty friggin sweet so we're doing that, and now we're going to go right back to uh, civil engineering, where we were before. We'll get the final builder boost, uh, public works, with civil engineering, so that's going to be really good. Jakarta, what can we do in Jakarta here? Not much of anything, really. It needs some love, that's for sure. Um... Hmm. Industrial zone wouldn't be a terrible thing to put here. I mean, it is lacking significantly in any sort of any sort of production. Also, I believe I'm just going to count here. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Would be in range of that city. Would it be in range one, two, three, four, five? It'd be in range of Melbourne. Would it be in range of Laventa? One, two. Three, four, five, six. It would be one tile out of range of Laventa. If we were to maybe buy, purchase this tile right here, it would have the plus two production right next to this beautiful place right here. I mean, I'm sure this is a breathtaking... Oh, it's actually an average appeal tile. Oh, whatever. Would it reach all three cities? Hmm... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it would actually. So that looks like that's the best spot. So we're going to go ahead. And also, incidentally, we managed to link our borders up. Cool. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drop our industrial zone right next to that city. It's going to get rid of the science and uh, gold boosts from it, but oh well. We'll eventually get some outback stations along the edges here. Oh, speaking of which... Yeah, let's get a workshop queued up too, and worker queued up as well. Builder. Alright, so Kasami has the maximum number of envoys without actually having their suzerain bonus. So we'll send an envoy to Villainous. And that'll give us level one boosts to our culture squares. And we actually discovered coal. So just outside of our borders right there, next to Kabul. Where's the other source? Oh, we're already using it. Excellent. I think we only use it for battle cruisers, but that's still pretty nice. So this guy just got hit like a truck, so he needs to pull back. He probably should have been promoted and then maybe just left there. Um, I don't really see any reason to ever take this side of the promotion tree. I think this is always the better choice because you're always using these for attacking cities, right? Anyway, let's just continue attacking the city. A 
This digger actually has no promotions as of yet. Let's move him down here. Let's actually get this guy out of action for now. Pull him back, and uh, the idea I'm thinking here is we're going to core this one up. We got a boost to mobilization in the process, a nice little bonus. This guy actually still has some movement points, so we're going to move him in that direction. can't get him to a place where we can guarantee his safety, so we won't. You just stay where you are. What are these? Grasslands? Grasslands and plains. Okay. Well, we might as well build out back stations for now. In two turns, we'll get civil engineering and we'll uh, start pushing again for some outback stations. That guy took a really big hit. So he needs to pull back as well. Samaria is trading with Arabia. Interesting. I think I can actually use the knight to take Kish at the end of this turn. I don't think it's going to be much of a fight. So we have enough range to support there to just decimate its defenses completely. I mean, obviously this guy needs to pull back, but everything else... The city's health is down to zero, so we can just walk in with the knight, right? Keep that city. And sure, we'll bombard them. We won't do much. And then Cantabera, what do we want to do? Get a workshop up. Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Oh, we can build another trader. Let's do that. Kish. Wow, Kish has... Oh, it does have a district. It has that industrial zone that we pillaged. Oh, no. It's going to take 63 turns to rebuild. Oh, God, the horror. Actually, could just go and kill that guy right now. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Sure, why not? We'll take that. And that's that turn. Move these guys up. Move these guys down. Next turn, we'll uh, get them combined. Uh, at this point, we can probably safely move the settler out. Bad Tibber has some absurd population. I 
And I think we're going to try something with Mr. Gandhi here. Because I suspect that Monty... Well, look at Monty's science. Monty's getting out of control here. He's getting completely out of hand. So since Gandhi has proven so willing to go to war with people in the past, I'm proposing a joint war. A joint war against Montezuma. He is more than happy to accept. I think I should be safe against Monty unless Monty has nukes, which I think they said something about buffing up their likelihood to build nukes. But let's give this a try. I mean, Monty was already denouncing me, so... Let's just continue on. A common mistake that people make when trying to design something completely foolproof. All right. We've got civil engineering. So we're going to scrap professional army. Uh, hmm. You know what? If I'm making positive income right now, I'm going to put public works back in here. And we're just going to... You know, our policy agenda is not set, actually. Uh, we're going to put triangular trade back in here. We're going to scrap the other one. Yeah, let's do it this way. Let's see if this works. Yeah, that actually worked much better. Okay, perfect. Triangular trade is awesome. Now, let me guess. We have to deal with our wonderful old cock block of urbanization. Yep. Okay, nine turns till that's done. We pretty much can't do anything else. We still have that national park, right? Good. We'll take our promotion on this guy. Let's go to the left side. Kind of buggered up the promotions on that one. We'll go for the right side promotion for that one. You guys just get moving. And you guys. You guys need to get up there and get that oil. So the crabs are here and here. So if we were able to somehow get a harbor here, that would be ideal. Got our artillery moved up. Expert crew that can attack after moving. Apparently they cannot attack through forests or hills though, so we need to keep them moving. Move this guy down so we can core him up. And this guy's gonna get cored up with that digger. Now, since we have our cavalry all healed up, we're going to explore this area, particularly that barbarian encampment. That is of some concern. Go into the city. We have a builder unit here. Let's so start mining the niter. It's still going to take like a billion turns to repair that. All right. You take a promotion. Okay. Let's 
guy's taking moderate damage. But he'll still be able to uh, unleash quite a bit on them. So that would be major wall damage. And we're not taking your demands. Less. Uh, yeah, you're gonna tr What are you gonna do there, Mr. Uh, Saladin? What are you gonna do to me? We have no borders. But, uh, we don't share any borders whatsoever. So what's going on with Monty here? Monty in India, what are they doing? Looks like a steering contest so far. Start building a spy in Sydney. Sydney's actually losing population very, very slowly. So we'll have to address that at some point. Not quite yet, but at some point. And, oh, the culture district, the theater square is done here, so we're gonna just go by the amphitheater and... Yeah, let's faith by another uh, archaeological, archaeological museum. We can't, actually. Not this turn, we'll have to wait a turn. In the meantime, we can't build any more districts. That's okay, so I guess... Got started on uh, another builder. Zanzibar, just build a builder, I think. Eric, start repairing the watt. Yeah, start repairing the watt. We'll send a builder your way soon enough. Get those guys up on the hill. This one will move it closer. Got our guys ready in Zanzibar, so this is going to be mostly a whole lot of clearing out of jungle. Maybe we'll uh, drop some out back stations, but I mean, if there's hills here, we're going to mine those hills. Well, we'll see, actually. We might be able to uh, improve the yields of uh, this area right here. this guy in the city to heal up. Do that properly. I think this trader needs to be moved down to Uruk. Yeah, it's... Uruk is suffering pretty badly here. We'll also bring the digger down to Uruk. Next turn. Got a ram. Our ram is just chilling over here. Can you guys move up. What is going on over here? I guess the Indians are trying to convert them over to Hinduism. Oh, there's a campus here. Ooh. That could be good. Should have noticed that before, but this city just became a priority. That's a good campus spot, too. Lots of districts. Districts that should be unpillaged. And the uh, city's health is relatively low. Yeah, that's a good spot to take. Let's 
so we'll blast them again. Diggers can do significant damage. Good. Uh, that city's looking fairly terrifying in terms of its uh, in terms of its health. I better use knights. Fifty-eight. So they're not the greatest. Pick up another digger. Yeah, we'll pick up another digger, then we'll build a factory in Canterbury. Fish. Start very slowly working on a builder. Yeah, I'll get a quarry down. Actually, you know what, Kish? Start repairing your factory. It's gonna take forever, but we should get uh, started on that now. So this is a suicidal attack. <coughs> However, I think we can still settle here and then just just let those guys uh, try to uh, throw themselves at the city we settle. The city has uh, 66 defense, then we should be fine. And that looks like uh, that, lo that looks like what, what we're normally getting. Oh, Zanzibar, can we actually uh, bathe by any units here? Here's not. No, our holy site is pillaged. Alright, better. We can get apostles or missionaries. We have an apostle. That could be. Oh, that is actually kind of risky and stupid. So we're gonna move our digger in there to protect him. Clear the area around the holes there. And I think we'll keep moving this guy down here. It's considering for a second sending him up here to deal with the anti-tank. But that... It's kind of out of the way. I think it's a bit of a waste of time. So we got a couple more units to deal with. We got trade units to deal with. Alright, so Urk. Urk to Cantabara would be a good trade route. Let's do that. Alright, the current civic urbanization is one turn away from maximum inspiration potential. I don't think there's any way we're getting that one. Newcastle isn't going to grow too pop overnight unless we. We don't have anything con too consumed to make it that big. Toronto, we'd have to do an awful lot to make that happen. Okay. So that's just simply not going to happen. Cool. We'll hard research it like I thought. Alright, next turn. And there goes the timer. So I think I'll make this one the last turn. We'll try to, to 
take this tiny ass little city of Nippur. And Gandhi is flipping things around. I don't like it. I don't want Gandhi to be sending his missionaries through here. Oh yeah, this is, this is no contest. And we even got walls out of it, fantastic. Right, we need to choose whether we keep the city, we're definitely keeping it. guys up. Move this field cannon up. Let's take a look at what our guy can get here. We'll just go for the or ah, what is it? Orator. That's the one. We can't actually move this turn. Nope. Sure, let's finally start uh, dealing with Sanzibar. And in the poor, let's repair the uh, monument, I guess. I'm inviting average. Why is the appeal so. Okay. There's two freaking mittens nearby. Charming. Okay. It's not so bad. Just getting at potential districts here. Because Nakur's a bit of a blank canvas, so. Let's move this guy down. Move the battering ram there. I'm gonna experiment here. I think. Well, we won't have time to play around with it this turn uh, or this game even. I'm gonna see if the appeal goes up by removing some of this jungle surrounding the. Uh, University. Hmm. Yeah, actually, the science is going to go down directly because of that, if we do that. Might be offset by the appeal, though. Only for Australia would that be a good idea. And the cat. These guys will send them out to start doing out back stations. And we got a s trade route from Canterbury. Uh, we don't actually need this one anymore. Yeah, we can send them somewhere else. How far away is our settler from his destination. We fortify there for now. Now our settler. Our goal is to get his butt over there, preferably if we can, settling directly on the oil.
Let's actually move this guy to Jakarta. Jakarta needs a little bit of love. I could also use some road links with, say, Rockhampton. Okay. So that does it for this turn. I think I'm going to throw down a cut right here, like I said, guys. I do, however, just want to review things before we uh, are done for this particular episode. I want to see how uh, everybody's doing in culture. We have no visiting tourists. Okay. So Monty has the highest culture because he has the lowest uh, amount of what he has to beat. Gandhi has 66. He's in the lead. So, so far, most people don't have too much culture. We can fix that for ourselves once we start getting archaeologists up and running. We've got a lot of... Uh, We've got a lot of these culture squares to fill up. We can also convert these cities here to uh, faith by our culture buildings with Judaism. Science is getting a little scary here. Gandhi is in the lead there. Although Monty's more so in the lead, so... Yeah, Monty is a legit problem. I guess he has a spy over here. So we're getting joint vision. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Monty's clear on the other side of the world right now, so I'm not sure. We'll do what we can. But I think we only got like 50 turns or so before the victory conditions for the AI start kicking in, so. We'll have to get moving on, uh on our own uh, victory plans here, whether it's culture, whether it's domination or science. So, anyway, that's something to think about in the uh, later on in the next episode. This is going to do it for uh, this episode, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying these uh, videos, and I will see you guys next time.